Hello everybody. Today I have a very special guest. You may know him from the Tester Season 2. It is Mo Chocolate. How you doing, Mo? Did someone say Mo Chocolate? <laughs> What's up, buddy? Not bad, not bad. You doing okay? Excellent, man. Excellent. I was looking forward to this interview all day. Get, yeah, get, so get, was get, I, get, I was get, like, get I had the alarm set on the clock. I was like, 10 o'clock <laughs> p.m., be in front of the computer for this interview. I was ready at 9.59, yo. That's how awesome I am. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, first question I have for you today is, how did you get chosen to participate on the Tester Season 2? God, like, that, that's the one question that I get a lot. Basically, it's not that long of a story. Basically, I just... I was I was watching E3 like every other gamer on on the world in the world and uh, when they when they announced that there was going to be season two I immediately went to my computer made a profile and, and this and that with no intention of knowing that I, I would get on the show because how it works as everyone knows is through votes and once I saw how how many votes people were getting on a daily basis I was making barely twenty votes a day I'm like there is no way in hell I'm getting on the show blah blah blah. A few days later, I get a call from the producer. I'm like, oh, hi, what's up? And they're like, we like you. Come be on, come be on our show, okay? And But but basically, yeah, they just, uh, over, over a series of interviews, many callbacks, I, they flew me to, to California, had another in, interview there, and boom. And they just said, okay, we need one funny, chubby black guy with an afro that time. They said, you can build your profile. Come, come on board. <laughs> That's how that's how I got on. How how was your overall experience on the show? I I you really can't really give it's a experience that you can't really put into words, you know? Because one, I've never been to California. Two, I've I've, I've never been on a reality show. Three, I was just like I watched season one, and so I knew what the show was about. But overall, like. I was screaming the entire time, man. Like, if, if you watch if you watch episode one, I'm all over the place. Even though they don't show all of it, I'm like screaming, like saying, "Oh my god, oh my!" I'm like one of those those. I'm I'm like one of those like girls you see on TV crying over Justin Bieber. I was just like that, <laughs> only for the tester. I was like jumping up and down. I was screaming, "Oh my god, the PS move! Oh my god, the three TV! Oh my god, Meredith!" I was going crazy. <laughs> and then of course you know the challenges came and the stress of on the show came and so overall i would say it was by far the best experience of my entire life i don't think there will ever be a, a experience that compares to to the tester seriously like me being married nope me having a girlfriend nope me having sex nope the tester all the way <laughs> it was like and being now. on a drug <laughs> exactly um in the house who did you get along with the best everyone every single person except for one, one person every person in the house Gamer, Maxim, Scooter, Triple Threat, Boo, uh, A Bit Mickey, Samurai, everybody. We we the, the, the thing about me is I I'm I'm very easy to get along with. Like you respect me, I respect you. As you can tell, I, I have no problem being myself and chatting and just saying hi to everybody, being nice to, every, to everybody and everyone. Like seriously, we we still talk to this day. You know, me, Gamer, Scooter, A Bit Triple, we all talk to this day. So I would hands on say I would get I would get along with every, in, in, including the uh, judges. Yeah, Brad, Meredith, Adrian, we all saw each other at E3 this past year. We were, we're all just one big family. But as every there's there's always that one person in your family that no one likes. So yeah, we all know who I'm talking about for when for someone I did not get along with. Well, it, now then this is off the question sheet. But when I was watching the series, it looked like you still tried to talk, try to communicate with that person. It's like you know everybody kind of stayed away from them. But you still approached him every now and then, and still tried to be that friend. Like you were almost breaking his shell. Yeah, because that's how I am. Like I try, even though I'm a quirky goofball that I, that I am, I, I do try and keep some sort of maturity level, you know. Because I, I realize that I know what it's like being picked on, not being liked, being an outcast of a group. So I wanted to give this guy somewhat of a decent chance. Because at the time, I saw him as a, as a, as a human being at the time. But then once then once I saw his his true colors. Then once once I saw how what kind of person he was, then I just walked away. Yeah, because in that last episode, right before he got eliminated, when he said, "I'm gonna go over there and, and uh, yeah, interrogate her," you're like, yeah. "No, bro, it's you're, yeah. she's crying. Don't do it." And you try to talk him out of it, and that's basically when things got real dirty, and it was outside. Yeah, of your it's control. not. I, I I don't care if we don't if we don't get along or not. Like you're not gonna do that. 
a girl, okay? Like, even if it was a guy, you respect women around me. Yeah. Yes, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, it, what, that's, what, that's what my mama always told me. Yep, yep. Now, this is probably a touchy subject, but what was going through your head in the episode in which you got eliminated when everybody just started dun, dun, teaming up on you? All that. Oh, my God. It, it's funny because after... Before that episode aired, I had I definitely had my share of of uh, haters, and then after the episode aired, people who did not like me like me now. And every time I get fan mail, you know I'm a big fan, love you all on the show, hated how they treat you in the episode. <laughs> it's so funny to me. Basically, I knew immediately, man. I knew immediately they were going to do that because once we got back from elimination, it was all stressful and stuff. And me, I was just taking in the fact that I made it to the top fucking four when I first got on the show with my. Uh, bad uh, comprehension skills, bad memory skills, this and that. I thought there is no way I'm, I'm I'm going past episode three, and the fact that I made it that far was just crazy to me. So when I when when I'm in in the kitchen, just just doing my thing, getting some chocolate or toast, and then I see them all together in their room, whispering, talking. <laughs> I'm like, oh oh god, here we go. But you know what? I don't care. If I get eliminated tomorrow, I made it to the top four. I won all these prizes. I got I got to meet Meredith. I got to meet Adrian. I got to meet Grant. I got to fly up to California. I was happy in general. You were happy but, with the experience of it. Exactly. That was good enough for me. Like people are already, people kept saying how I wish you would have won. You know, I, I hated how I'm like look at the positive. Okay, I got chosen. There were twenty. There were over twenty eight thousand people that tried out for the show. I made it to the top twelve, and on top of that, I made it to to the top four. Yeah, I won the PS Move. I won. I won like four or five games autographed by by celebs in the gaming industry. I got to you know meet big names in the industry. I got to live in a loft. I got to be on the Tester series. I got to be the first. I got to be the token black guy of a, of a reality show. My dream came true. I got to be the for the first tag dancer and the first Muslim to be on the show. So boom, I have so many things to be to be proud of. So I ha I had no reason to be upset. That's why when that's why when I left, I was all like happy. I had yeah. no reason to be upset. No reason at all. Yeah, cause, yeah, I understand that. I mean, you were just happy to be there, and then all the memories afterward, that was pretty much the payoff for you. Although I will admit that that is the one episode I prefer not to watch <laughs> in the part where, where they're all, like, choosing me. I prefer not not to watch that, even though we're all cool now and we're, and we're past that. Hell, even Gamer and Scooter, they all agree. They don't like watching that that episode, that particular scene. Yeah, when, when me and my wife watched the episode, we were like, what the hell is going on, man? You're like, I mean, really. Um, out of I, all... and, and one thing, and one thing, I, I, I also want to make clear is that no one in Sony is is racist. There were a lot of like haters saying how it was racist, and I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, don't don't go there, okay? Seriously, don't even go there. If I was white, they would do the exact same thing, okay? There's no race whatsoever. Wasn't well, Nauseous was black, and he made it to the top three, so. Mm -hmm. And th does Nauseous have a contract with Sony because he came back? I believe last... I believe he uh, when when I got to talk with him at E3, he mentioned that he does test for for Sony. It's funny because even if you don't win a show, you would still have a good chance of being in the industry because I believe that uh, Fancy Girl, she of uh, yeah, Fancy Girl and Fame Girl and and and, and, and like, like like you mentioned, uh, Nauseous. They're they they they're all game testers now. Really? So regardless if you win or not, you still have to have a good chance. Me personally, I would prefer not not to go down that route because I'm more into the theater and singing, and acting, dancing, yeah. as you can clearly see. But me, I would stick more towards that area. Yeah. Ah, nice, nice. Um, out of all the challenges on the show, which was the hardest for you? Um, I can definitely tell you my my favorite, and I think everyone will will agree is episode six. Where I got to use my inner fat boy powers and eating marshmallows. <laughs> I will never, I will never forget how happy I was because you know we are so behind and we are losing. And then when I realized that you're getting, a, you're getting a fat kid candy. <laughs> really? Thank you. So I, I, I really think it was a, uh, a, a Guinness World Record because I, I, the producers after we did, we got on filming saying, "Wow, Mo, you ate like twelve marshmallows, the big chunky thick ones, yeah. in less, in less than one minute." In less than a minute, I, I ate all of those. I was like, really? Um, I never realized I was, so, I was such a good swallower. Wow. <laughs> but obviously, we that was the episode that we won because of me. Then there's the episode that where we lost because of me. And that's the one episode I still kick myself for to this day. It's uh, episode three. Even though it was so, it was such an easy challenge, as you can see, I was willing to jump over a box and everything and, and, and injure myself. But I didn't care because I, re I really wanted to win. 
for some reason, then, um, when the producers told us, because he, because here's how it works for those people who are not, for those people in TV land. Basically, um, we walk inside, and Meredith explains to us the rules. Then they cut camera. Then the producers come out to us, and they explain to us the rules, like in like in very clear detail. And then once everyone, then they ask if we if we understand. Then then they go back to filming. So when they told us that we had to pick up the rock, when I looked at the rock, I saw the I went went hold on, see I'm see I'm fucking up already. When they told us, they told us to pick up the crown. Cause we're, cause we're the princess. When I looked at the crown, I saw the rock. Yeah. So somehow, somehow in my low walk ball brain of mine, with my poor comprehension skills, I told myself that the rock was the crown. Ah. So like the entire time, I I, I was aiming for the rock, and never did it occur to me that I'm a princess. I should be getting a, I should be getting the crown, not the damn rock. And that's why I I thought the crown was attached to the rock, which is why I picked it up. Yeah. Oh, my God. And that's when I realized that. That's when when I realized when Game was like, think of the crowd. I was like, oh shit. <laughs> yeah. So I became this close. We we would have won. We would have won these kick-ass headphones had not been for my dumbass. I was so angry. That's why I, I when 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 I was crying, I was crying because because I was angry, not not because I was sad. I was so angry. And I'm like, Mo, don't you cry. Don't you dare fucking cry. Since high school, me and my friends always made fun of the people on reality shows that cry. So I'm like, don't, you are not going to cry. You are not going to cry. And I cried. That's why I was like turning my head over so, so, so no one could see me. To this day, my, my friends don't let me live, live, live it down. <laughs> yeah. Well, it was also, that challenge was also early in the season. So you were probably still trying to shake the nervousness. And yeah. Yeah, I, I can understand that because if I was there, I'll be sitting there and they tell us, you know, the rules. I'll probably be not 100% there focused on it, you know what I mean? It was definitely funny though, right? When you when you first watched it, you were laughing, right? Like oh, of was... course. Me and my wife was laughing. We're like, what? Yeah, I mean, when when that, when that episode first aired at my place, my friends were, were, were rolling. <laughs> <laughs> um, The next question I'm going to skip because we pretty much...